Hey, I'm playing Bob. That would be Bob the song, not Bob the planet. I'm playing Bob by Al Yankovic, uh, straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, I'll do a basic tutorial together with a slow motion, close-up play along you might find helpful. Final things, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. You want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own video tutorial and play along. Then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. Here goes. Nixon, oh stone, be not so. Oh, Joe, no Geronimo, no minor ego. Naomi, I moan. A Toyota's a Toyota, a dog, a panic in a pagoda. Hey, first off, if you don't understand what this song is about, go online and look up the definition of the word palindrome. That would be P-A-L-I-N-D-R-O-M-E. Then come back and look at every single line in this song and the title. Let your fa face fall into a, a state of amazement at the brilliance that is Al Yankovic. And then uh, appreciate this song with a, a new sense of wonder. All right. <laughs> Now the strum, other than that intro, which isn't just an intro because it happens like four times throughout the song as well, um, the strum I did, it had only one pause right after the first down and the emphasis was on the first and third down. So like this, pause, 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 and the emphasis, you hear it? strum would be kind of a common rock and roll back a strum where it's like right but this is the opposite this is they don't call it a four beat strum but it seems like you ought to is it's in front and that's it that's the strum now during that intro and those interludes what I did is I hit it early, I slide up, right? So I start with my G shape, one down, which you would think is a G flat, but it's not really. This would be a G shape. That's the wrong note for a G, but it still sounds good this way. Other than that, 
that, that's all I'm doing. Now the C, from G to a C, if you're a beginner and you just want to go to an easy standard C, you can do that. From here, your middle finger is already on the right string, slide it up one fret, and there's your C. I chose to do this C because I thought it sounded better, but if you don't want to work that hard, then don't. <laughs> just that simple. So I slid up, right? I kind of slid my index finger around up and ended up there and then slid back down to the G. But if you want to do a C, I'd suggest you do that with your middle finger. Excuse me, if you want to do an open C, I'd suggest you use your middle finger. And then you just go like this. Or you can, your ring finger too, but I would use my stronger middle finger. That's the way I would do it. And then from there, I would use also, or I did from the G, my middle finger again slides up one fret and I bar the rest with my index finger. And that's my D and back to a G. So your middle finger is staying there the whole time unless you do my version of a C, your choice, whichever you think is, whichever you want to do. Like I said, I thought this sounded better, but I wrote them both in there because certainly this is easier. And if you want to choose to do that, nobody's going to make fun of you. Really, really not. All right. That's it. That's the entire song. So I tell you what, I am just going to do in slow motion, close up on my left hand, from the intro intro to the first repetition of the intro. In other words, after verse one. And here we go. Slow motion. Five, six, seven, and... Say bye.